Governor Godwin Obaseki sounds out some residents close to this water retention site at the Abuja Quarters axis of Benin City, the Edo State Capital. When did they fix that road? All the silt, all the dirt that is coming out from any vicinity takes the erosion, takes the flood and everything and dumps them here. The state government is on a mission to explore ways to reduce the expected impact of flash flooding across the state. The next stop is at the Nigerian Army School of Supply and Transport, also in the state capital. So, uh, what is it? Well, I think you will have, um, the going to have the there's a problem for the one is there. For these residents at Ewa Road, the case is now beyond prevention. The rains have already done the damage, aided by the nearby Kuba River. <laughs> Mr. Basaki says the next line of action is to dredge the Kuba River. To solve the immediate problem which we are dealing with today in this catchment area, you will see that the main artery, the main drain here, which is the Kuba River, has become clogged and definitely has to be dredged and desilted. If we don't do that, we will not be able to solve the problem here and the problem we are going to see when we go to the INEC offices in Boba Slope. The last stop is at the Independence National Electoral Commission headquarters in the state, a perennial flash flood location. <laughs> Here, the appeal is to residents to assist government by ensuring environmental friendly practices. This is to appeal to all citizens of Edo State to help government to prevent the devastating effects of from flooding by helping us not clog our drains and also supporting government in our massive efforts to desilt all our drains and in cases where the floods have become overwhelming. Please call our emergency numbers. The Edo State Government says it's aware of the flash flooding situation, but insists that the action plan to deal with the erosion menace will only be effective if residents play their part. <laughs>